a scientific breakthrough described as remarkable has found that fasting for just three days can regenerate the entire immune system. In this study, scientists found that when we fast, our body kickstarts stem cells into producing new white blood cells. Researchers say fasting flips a regenerative switch, which prompts stem cells to create brand new white blood cells, essentially regenerating our entire immune system. Fasting basically tells stem cells to go ahead and begin multiplying and rebuilds the whole system. At the same time, the body will also get rid of the parts of the system that might be inefficient, old or damaged. The scientists said this might be particularly helpful for patients whose immune systems have been heavily damaged by chemotherapy and for elderly people whose immune systems become less effective as they age. When we fast, our bodies are forced to use stores of glucose and fat but also breaks down a significant amount of white blood cells. During each cycle of fasting, this depletion of white blood cells encourages changes that trigger stem cell-based regeneration of new immune system cells. Researchers asked participants to regularly fast for between two and four days over a six-month period. And it was found that prolonged fasting also reduced the enzyme PKA, which is linked to aging. PKA is the key gene that needs to shut down in order for these stem cells to switch into regenerative mode. Fasting also lowered IGF-1, a growth factor hormone which increases cancer risk and tumour growth. We could not predict that prolonged fasting would have such a remarkable effect in promoting stem cell-based regeneration of the hematopoietic system, said Professor Walter Longo, professor in gerontology at the Biological Sciences at the University of California. When you fast, your system tries to conserve energy, and how it can do this is by recycling a lot of the immune cells that are either not needed or are damaged. The number of hematopoietic stem cells increases whilst the white blood cell count goes down. However, when you start eating again, the white blood cell number comes back up. While chemotherapy can sometimes save lives, it causes significant collateral damage to the immune system. The results of this study suggest that fasting may mitigate some of the harmful effects of chemotherapy, said co-author Tanya Dorf, assistant professor of clinical medicine at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center and Hospital. We are investigating the possibility that these effects are applicable to many different systems and organs, not just the immune system, added Professor Longo. Chris Mason, Professor of Regenerative Medicine at UCL, said, There is some interesting data here. It seems that fasting reduces the number and size of cells, and then refeeding at 72 hours saw a rebound. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.